is a drawing of the layout of the buildings. I've been asked quite a lot of questions in the comments about the layout and people are getting a little bit confused because there's quite a few buildings. So I thought I'd just film this again. I have filmed this once before. I think it was in episode 12. Right, we're at the chateau, our friend's chateau. This is the end of one of these jeep buildings. And there's a bit of a problem with the roof up the corner there. And Tony's come along to help them sort it out. So they're using the tractor as a platform to work off of. It's actually got like a cage around it. Unfortunately, you don't have remote control with this one time. Oh, Just have to shout to Adam. <laughs> Point. <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Dev. <laughs> you're not better today, are you? No, oh, well. no, you're both deaf. <laughs> we'll make good between us. Yeah. No. <laughs> Right, have a bit, please, mate. Oh, I'll stay up a bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just right, Tony's got. Yeah. Ah, Tony's a bit short. Over. on Tilt. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah, hand signals, I think, and no rude ones, please. <laughs> if we could, if we could fit this, down here, a bit more over. Ah, here comes David. All right. Ah, you're going to park that up there for me? You can take it, it's in there. Really? <laughs> I get to take the gator. Nice <laughs> and easy. Right. Low gear. So it's like a column shift. Yeah. So which one's, so it's just breaking, it's stop and go, isn't it? Like mine? Yeah, yeah. it's automatic. Stop and go. <laughs> so it's easier to put your foot on the brake. Yeah. To start it, you've always got to be neutral. Yeah. Oh, have you parked? Because I'll start mine in park. Or park, either. Oh, right, just okay. Out of gear. So yeah. is it in neutral or is it in park? It's in park. Right, okay. And then start. And then you go, look on here. It'll tell For you. For the little. Low gear is easier. Just low gear, that'll do me. Yeah, and then you're off. Right, and it's alright to go up, if I go up the path and just across. Straight up. Alright, it's dry, isn't it? Yeah, Okay, good. right, let's get me gloves and things. And it's all about our roof for the moment, explaining how far they've got. We well, are ready for me to go. Right, tools in the back. I'll have to take the gator up to the monument plinth up there and clear it. This is probably going to be a bumpy road, so hold tight. Gonna wobble a bit, definitely. All right.
Now then, we're going to turn it this way. Yeah. And this is what we're going to tackle. They're coming out, he's sitting in there, in the shade. What can we see? We can see. Yeah. I think we can see. Okay, let's get me told. On. I'll pay you, I'm not going anywhere else. I see if you come for a ride just to stay there. Hey, you can go back if you want. Do some work, mate. Hey. Oh, just don't jog my camera, please. Taking it on completely. Yeah, who knows? You know where to start. Uh, some of the main branches, I suppose. strange weather for April because it gets a little bit warm and then we're getting these really cold nights so I'm still getting a lot of frosts in the middle of April which is quite unusual around here it's usually warmer by now and young Will lives here he works at the organic farm up the road and they've lost a lot of their plants because of the frost they keep having to cover them all up same as I have to keep covering things up um, and worrying about planting things out. But yeah, it's quite pleasant in the middle of the day, but overnight, and especially first thing in the morning, it's really cold still. And it's not good for any of the plants, it's not good for us. Probably won't be a good year for fruit either because a lot of the blossom has been out already and if it gets the frost on it kills the buds off. Let's hope it changes soon. We're predicting next week is going to be in the 20s again. Let's hope they're right. Love it at the moment. It's about 15. And in the sunshine, it is warm. Right. I don't know what this plant is. I'll just give you a little bit of a close up. But it's not particularly pretty. Deb, I know Deb didn't want it here. So it just looks a bit of a mess. Always looks untidy and then it's got bits of ivy growing through it as well. But yeah, if we clear it all up, maybe she can plant some new things. Just got 
so unruly over the years that there's not a lot you can do with it not even to tidy it it's sort of dead in the middle The sun is absolutely gorgeous. It's so lovely out here actually. Very pretty. And listen to all those birds. It's amazing. Apparently there was a statue on here, it disappeared a few years back, somebody said it might be in one of the local churches, but yeah I wonder what was on there, it's quite the beautiful as well, it's quite decorative, over this side there's a piece missing, actually it's got a hole in the top but I presume that would be securing whatever was sitting on the top of it. Dave will probably come running now. We're going to see what they're up to. Yeah. See where he wants me to dump this. Right. Our secret compost heap in the woods, as you would do with all these woods. Have 
done. Oh, well, it's all just sewing. Put it over there next time. Okay, marvellous, thank you. Oh, look at these, aren't they beautiful? Little old primroses. I've just made the tea. <laughs> I come out. I gave Adam his, and he's quite happily drinking it. And Tony's still stuck up in the bucket. Don't worry about it. Just chuck them down here for a minute. Right. <laughs> yeah, because Tony's pretty much under Ad's control while he's up there. Very handy piece of machinery, is eh? There are bars across that which Tony obviously is having to clamber across. Let's see if we can safer than a ladder. I'm trying to zoom in. I think he's just measuring something. Yeah, he's just measuring. I think he's coming down for his cup of tea now. Hang on. <laughs> All the way. And here he goes. Three tea break. Gotten his measurement. <laughs> oh, he's got to go back up now. This is measured it, and now he's forgotten. Remember what it is now? Yeah. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say measure twice, don't they? they Cut so. once. Doubles as an angle grinder. <sighs> okay. This is the corner of the roof here with the uh, men in. And it had some broken tiles and some rotten slats on it. So, as you can see, it fell down. It's also got a cement bit along the side which Tony's going to replace as well so he's putting in some new timbers and then he's going to put some new laths or battens yeah then he's going to put some new battens replace some of the tiles and then cement in around the edges <laughs> Right, hold me guys.
Oh, I can't see you beyond the tree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hiding. I'm sitting, I'm sitting on my dwarf seat. Uh. Oh, well, uh, took your jumper off. The sun's gone in town. Right, I'm going to get on with the uh, cutting the brush back. Right, let's leave them doing the roof. I'm going to back off to finish cutting the brush. Where's David? Is he coming or not? Gorgeous. Right. It's getting a little bit clearer. A few more, a few more stalks to chop away there, and then a bit more picking up all the rubbish. I think we're about done. So you can see the plinth a lot clearer now. Obviously it's got a little bit of damage to it. But yeah, we can and Deb can think about what she wants to put on top of it. Right, I'll carry on clearing up. Add it up a bit. I hope it's not going to rain before I finish. Like it goes in. It's come up. So if it's making noises on the microphone, sorry.
we'll come back to have a little update on what they're up to and how they're getting on. See Tony's new woodwork up there. He's doing well. He's been watching our roofers, learning new tricks. <laughs> Yeah, he's replaced the timbers up there. Now he's sorting out some tiles. You're doing your tiling now. And there we are. So, next time the mower comes up here, they can go around it with the mower, keep it down, and it'll surely green up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, looks like something on the side of it. What is that? I don't think it's. I don't think it's meant to be there. <laughs> what is that? Looks like. Looks like a picture of a camera. Isn't that weird? I think maybe somebody's graffitied it. <laughs> Who knows how far back, but look. I'm trying to, oh no. I think it maybe is meant to be a gun. It does, doesn't it? Some sort of, some sort of graffiti on it. Oh, I know this was empty for a while. Wow. Yeah, I think that's maybe what that's meant to be. Huh, is there anything else on it? It's obviously quite a soft stone. I can't see anything else on it. Oh. No, but it is very, very crumbly. Very crumbly stone. But yeah, still with a bit of a clean up. Yeah, that's strange, isn't it? Yeah, that looks like a graffitied gun. Oh, I can't see it somewhere now, the sun's not on it. Ah, stand back a little bit. Yeah. I can't quite get the picture with the gator in the way. Well, sort of. Where are we going? All finished. I'm not going to be new toy. There we are, a low gear. That will do me. I'm trying to set the camera up so you can see what I'm seeing, but then I can't see. Okay. I can also try and keep it steady. Right, here we go. I'm trying to hold it steady for you.
hotels are going on. Oh, he's a bit busy today. He was learning some new skills off of Tony. I can't really zoom in and show you what he's doing. Not from this angle anyway. We do start at the bottom, don't we? Right. It's a little bit different though when you're mending one corner. Now you're not caring about the uh, the knobbly bit, Tony. No, put the cement holes in it. Oh, okay. Is that a technical term, Ad? A knobbly bit. A knobbly bit. Yeah. How many? Uh, a lot. A lot. You can't need a lot. There's not a lot of broken ones down there. I don't know, 30. No. Well, you'd have to do two trips in there. <laughs> Just give us, give us 20. 20, there you go, and see how you go. You like the shady bit around here, don't you? Should we go and see if we can get a better angle? We run out of tiles. Run out of tiles. Oh no. He's slacking, isn't he, that Adam? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Dave's here with me if that's what you're wondering. Mill, if you like, and one at 80 mil. Yeah. 
Come around the side now. Filling up the line. Tidying it up a bit, I'm not an expert. So, uh, forgive me if I'm doing it wrong. Wow, I thought this was a grapevine, but it's not. It's got pods. Wow, what is it? It has pods. Uh, I'm not sure because it doesn't look doesn't look like a um, wisteria type pod. Might be, maybe I can plant it, but I thought wisteria had bigger bigger seeds. I might try and plant it. I think it might be uh, some sort of, no, it's not a creeper. It's a massive vine. Anyway, I thought it was a grapevine, but it's not. So I might keep those seeds and plant them. Let's see what we get. Anyway, we can't help them in the shoots. Isn't it? Which bits to cut? Uh, something that's really struggling. Anything that's trying to, what's it, trying to attach itself to the wall, definitely. Got a little bit. Insect on me. What is that one? Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Let's hope you don't buy it. Anyway, come on, get off. Fly away, come on. Get back on there. There you are, one happy insect. Right. Here, I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's got to look better in the end. <laughs> Seen enough of this. Yeah. Seen enough. So, very pruning this one, this vine. Not quite sure what it is. It's a flowery one, apparently. But yeah, that's looking a bit tidy. A nice haircut. So, I'm going to dump off the last of the trimmings. I'm in, back in the gator. And then I'm going to have a drink with the boys because they're already sitting around there because they've finished their job. Right, here we go again.
Sorry? Let's be sat nav. That's not where I'm going. That's like being in Jurassic Park, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> It's probably the shape of the flowers or something. Yeah, a trumpet. Yeah, maybe it plays a tune. <laughs> what was the Latin name? Campsis radicarus. I have to. Radicans. Right. Trumpsis, as in trumpet. Trumpet vine. Okay. I'll have to look it up on Google and see a picture, but. I shall see it when it comes out later in the year anyway. This is a picture of the trumpet creeper vine. Not sure if this is the same colour as this one that Deb has. They tend to be orangey colours. They can get a purple variety and a few other shades. But that looks beautiful. Is it slow and steady wins the race? <laughs> I think Tony's back might survive a bit better than yours, Adam. He's got a bigger pump than me, though. Yeah, actually, he is, he is winning. <laughs> I think his side's going up a bit quicker than yours. It's close, though. But you're pumping twice as much. Are you not better off with the foot pump? <laughs> hey. So, what's this all about? This is a blow up kayak. How many people does this seat? It's two. Is it two? Because I think yours is three, isn't it, Tony? Two plus a child. This is two plus a child. I think yours is something similar. Yeah. I would call yours about two and a half. I wouldn't put three three adults in yours. So they're probably a similar size. Right, I need another demonstration because it's not recording, Tony. Oh dear. There's a switch on. Oh, you've got another one. Oh, yes. Right, let's demonstrate this little battery operated. It's that, oh no, yeah, I think the battery's gone. That's high yeah. speed. Yeah, low speed. Oh, that's so you can just toot the along. High yeah. speed. Oh, is this for a race? And then, <laughs> and then reverse. And reverse when you're going over the rapids. <laughs> it's so amazing, really. <laughs> you just got to cart this giant battery with you. 